Y'all share the live. Come on, we y'all watching us from it. Tune in. It's about to be a great old show today. We are on episode two. Hey, Nikila. Hey. What's Let up? us know where you're coming up? in from. Yes, Nikila. That's where you watching share, us from. Share, share, share. Share the live. Yes. We we'll have some good I'm old doing. conversation, adult conversation today. We have a special guest, Teaser. <laughs> And we just gonna have a good time, y'all. So make sure y'all just come on in. Welcome to Lipstick and Cognac. I am Cognac, by the way. This is Lipstick. So come on, share the live. Invite, let us know where you're watching us from. Just come on in. Enjoy this good old music. Cognac. <laughs> I'm sharing. I'm sharing. Sharing is caring. Hey, come on in the room, guys. Come on in the room. We're going to talk about it all. 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 We're going to talk about it What's up? What's up? What's up? Y'all come in. Let us know where you're yes. coming in from. Like, comment, share, invite. We need our um, IG camera on. Somebody was slacking. I'm so sorry. Somebody was slacking. That's why we don't have Instagram yeah. up. Y'all know who it was? Come yet. Oh, yeah, because they can't read your lips on camera. Come on, now. Why don't you just write, give us a pen so we can really get in there. there yes. 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 There you go. All right. This is what happens. I am so sorry. When you are slacker. <laughs> Hey, Jay. Thank you for watching. All right, all right, all what's right. Up, what's up, what's up, guys? Thank y'all for the technical difficulties. Okay, we are are so we, sorry. is we ready? Is we is ready? ready? Is we, we ready? ready? We is ready. we ready? Is we ready? Everybody? We ready. Okay. We live and we ready. Yes. Lord, just bless this show. Amen. Bless the show, yes. and simple. Yes, 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 yes. Simple intro. <laughs> Because somebody was slacking. I was so, not slacking. hello, guys. I It's your girl, Lipstick. And I'm your boy, Cognac. And we are Lipstick and Cognac. <clears throat> Let me get our elevator pitch. Thank you for tuning in to Rolling Out Live <laughs> and RollingOut.com. And also Lipstick and Cognac on Instagram. We are Lipstick and Cognac, your host of adult conversation with an alternative twist. A no judgment zone where we discuss all things relationships, no matter if you're a ruler, a rainbow, or, or a unicorn. unicorn. Yes. <laughs> okay, now go ahead, give our handles. Yes, yeah, so you can follow this great dynamic duo on Facebook and Instagram at Lipstick and Cognac. 
Twitter is Listic underscore Cognac, and on YouTube is Listic and Cognac page. Welcome, you guys. Thank you so much. This is episode two of Listic and Cognac on Rolling Out Live. If you're watching on Instagram, rollingout.com, or rolling out Facebook, we welcome you all to yes. the great show. It's called Listic and Cognac. What's up, guys? Yes. So, <laughs> as you guys know who have, who have been following us for a minute, class is now... In session. Yes. So what are we talking about today, Cognac? Dating after the fame. Oh, dating after fame? Yes, dating uh, after the fame. What does that mean? It's well, the social media edition. So Social uh, media, dating after the fame, mm-hmm. yes. So what that basically means to me, you want me to go first? Yes, you can go first this time. I can go first this time. Since she was a slacker. Yeah, so uh, to me, I feel like when you get money, you date higher. I don't care what nobody say. Here he go. He's starting opinion. early I with start the shenanigans. Early. I start real early. Now, if you had somebody down with you. Okay, hold up. I'll go first because this is not going to go right. You know what, go. Let, let's let's <laughs> explain the topic first. Well, explain the topic. So explain dating topic. after fame. This is the social media d- edition because there are so many people getting famous off of Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Insta fame. And it's very hard, or so I heard. Because, you know, I don't have those problems no more. Mm. <laughs> but, it, but it's very hard <laughs> to get dates where they really, really, really are into you once yes. people recognize you from your Instagram. Even though we all know Instagram is can be smoke and mirrors, but in some cases, it's not. You have to level up, like Sierra said. Level you do up. have to level up. But there that. comes a problem when you go somewhere and everybody recognizes you for Instagram and you're trying to date. Because the purpose of dating is getting to really know somebody. Well, I don't know. No, no. Wait, wait, I'm just explaining. You're dating more than one person. It doesn't so don't, matter. Don't, don't, don't get the word confused. Dating means you're what dating. Did, what did I get wrong? I just said you're getting to really know somebody. Like, well, you said dating. That's not exclusive. Talking I'm not talking about exclusivity. I'm just talking about when you're dating, the purpose of dating is getting to know. Whether people, y'all, yeah, people, yeah, getting yeah, to put, really know yeah. that person. Not just, you know, I don't care if y'all be monogamous or whatever y'all got going on, but you're trying to know somebody. That's yeah. the, You're not just going on a date just to be seen unless you're in this age where we have the problem which caused the topic today, yeah. dating with social media. media. So yeah. how do you feel about this? Well, I try to feel like this. Now, if you had somebody who was down with you in the beginning, stay with that person. But if you break up with somebody and they want to come, y'all be careful who you try to who I'm trying to talk to you. Be very, very careful. I do believe in that because you want to make sure somebody got something to lose. You both have something to lose. What they got to do with social media though? Bring because it, bring it you're home. Because dating. That's what I'm saying. Like, dating, you're famous now. You got, if but you, you only famous on Instagram. Now, if you got a million, a million plus followers, you better make somebody's money or something's wrong. Talk to your management. But no, Koyak said that. Free I'm game. not saying that. I'm not. I'm being facetious right now. Like I'm really saying, like that's what people think. If they're not on social media and they don't know you, they're like, well, you only famous on Instagram or you're only famous on Facebook. So how does that equate to dating? Like to you. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Oh, well, you talking about if I'm Instagram famous. Yes. Like, if you lit on Instagram or you lit on Facebook, all these social media sites, everybody who's on those sites know you and you start dating. Even if you have one hand where people that are on social media, they're going to know you. Yeah. And the people that don't know, are not on social media, they're not going to know you. And they're going to be, like, weirded out because you go to the grocery store and everybody like, hey, what's up, Cognac? And I'm like, Cognac? That ain't the name he gave me. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> well, that's I'm why listening. we're dating because you don't really get that exclusivity yet. You know what I mean? It don't matter if you date. I mean, you're, yes, you putting it on exclusivity. Dating, like, yes. Dating don't I, mean I don't have anything attached to you. We're dating. That's not what I'm saying. The thing is, you're dating. The purpose of dating is getting to know someone. I'm dating you, you, and everybody else. Even I don't care if you're dating the whole room full of people in here. What I'm trying to say is if I'm not on social media, and you tell me your your real government name, and we just dating. I'm dating other people. You dating other people. Well, hopefully, and then I'll, we go out in public and say like, "Hey, you know, it, by the way, I have this many many followers, or this, this, and that." Would you I'm really open up moves. with that? This is the person who wouldn't even tell you where he worked, and you're gonna open up with, "I'm making money moves." I'm famous. I'm, I'm Instagram famous. <laughs> you are so lying right now. You are so like, come on well, now, be I real. Would, well, it depends how they try to combat me to want to get my attention, right? You guys. Well, no, like so, if they're on social you know media, I mean? if they're on social, if they're not on social media, 
they're really coming at you to get your attention because they want to be whatever. When I'm but if my you real go name. out in public, correct. But if you go out in public and somebody like, what up, Kanye? And they like, who is Kanye? And you like, what up? You Can I get a picture with you? Yeah. And they like, first of all, that wasn't the name he gave me. And second of all, why are well, they taking his picture? I like this. Let's do a catch 22. If I don't tell you about my other side of me, what are we dating for? That don't make any sense Because y'all just me. getting to know each other. Well, I let them know I have, I have big following on Instagram. Duh. But how? What if they? And that Duh. is the problem. <laughs> That's the whole topic today. Did you just? I would see have to let them know that. Over your head, though? I let them know that. But I'm saying, how it's do you dating after the fame? Yeah. Before is different from dating before dating afterwards. Am I speaking Chinese right now? Like yes. this is what I'm talking about. This is the whole point of. Well, me I'm saying. telling you, you're going to date differently after and before. And the question was, how? After I'm one day, people got stuff to lose. Okay, explain that. Let well, me break this all the way. Now, before, I need some more cue cards. You know I gotta I write it out. Lipstick for messed up. It's okay. <laughs> they watch as a co host, and I'm here. <laughs> Thank you. Throw me the pin. Just throw it. Just she throw don't need it, no love. Pen. Thank you. Don't need no pin. <laughs> anyway. I feel like this, to be honest, this is this is gonna be real free game from Kanye. Okay. So, if you are dating someone, right, and before pre-famous, you're not going to be on the lookout really like that because you're going to really just be focusing on what y'all got going on. But if I'm dating you after the fame, I want to make sure that you are here for me, so I'm going to be very cautious with you. I'm going to share, you right, I'm going to share everything with you. I know you. it's not backwards, but y'all get it. After? After the fame. Exactly. I'm, I'm explaining that right now. So, what is the issue? Go ahead. Like I said, if I'm dating you afterward, I'm, I'm going to be very cautious with you because I want to know, are your intentions good? Are you really here for me? Yeah. Are you here because of who I am? Yeah. And I'm being I'm just being dead. I'm being dead serious. Yeah. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, I got to protect my image and who I am because I can get with you. You can make me look bad. Well, let me ask you Some this. Some people just be a come up. What if they don't know you? Like they don't know. If they're not on perfect. social media. I would love that. How would you how would you address being out in public and somebody is recognizing you as Kanye? Even if you told them that you know this is what I do and they start recognizing you and they realize I'm like, hey, this dude is really kind of a big deal. Like how would you well, address that? Well, I hope that? they won't leave me and want to be with me because of who I am for me. They got to know the real me and not outside of the presence on social media. Got it. You got what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So you get, you know what I, I mean? I get what like, you're saying. Yeah. So I hopefully they want to be with me. And they will understand. And that's why I had a conversation with them, like, hey, you know what? I am this, I have this persona outside of this. And this is what I do to how I make my money. So would you say that early on? I would. If I liked them after the third date. That's okay. Third date. So you wouldn't do it first date. Not the first so date. So if somebody blew up your spot and be like, What up, call yet? At the first date, then you have to Then I would explain. Yeah, you then. have <laughs> you'd be But awkward. I want them if I would I would really love that to have somebody who don't really know anything about me. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Who just want to know me for me? Don't you know I'm on social media or on rolling out or doing this thing? Oh, yeah, that'll be wonderful. Oh. But you know now people want to come up because they think you whatever. I'm just like, you need at least a hundred thousand dollars to talk to me. Sorry, sis. <laughs> is that is that is that your? I'm for real. You gotta have something to lose. That shall come up a hundred thousand in the bank or how? This is this? what you gotta have. To even come step Is to this me like now. in assets though, or is this liquid? Liquid. Child. Cognac gonna be single for a long I'm time. Not because my inbox be lit blue. <laughs> that, just because your inbox lit don't <laughs> clearly. Like I said, no, but all a lit inbox. No, no, I'll just be free facetious. Honest, I just want somebody who's gonna be real and honest with me. But you gotta have some type of income. So what'd be a good income you want somebody to have if you're making money? What'd be the income you would want? I because that's going to matter. I don't really think the income per se is a factor. What I, what I would say that the big issue would be is your hustle. Hustle. You see what I'm saying? Like your mindset. Because you could be on a downward spiral. Like you could be a business person and you may not be making a lot of money right now. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. But if you, if I see you got to grind and you got to hustle, because let me tell you, one thing about your girl lipstick, I am a grinder. I am a hustler. Like, I'm going to go get that money. Now, I might be down and out, but I'm going to go get it eventually. So she if you lying can't... because some bills going to come through. You can try to pay for everybody's date. No, no, and no, I was no, being no. Real First of all, hold on. Nope. 
let nope. me answer the question first. So nope. that's one thing that I need. <laughs> However, no. if you are just broke where well, you can't even pay your bills in your household, why are you even dating? So you, your you priorities keep, are all wrong. Will you still go wrong. eat at the same places if somebody? Now, let's be realistic. If I'm making. Wait a minute. Finish, finish that question. Let's be realistic. No. Would you go eat? Like, what were you going Eat at the same. I'm about to, that's what I'm about to go into. Let's be realistic. If I'm making, say, 400,000 a year plus, that's what I'm bringing home with lipstick and cognac, right? I wish, but okay. Yes. (laughs) Name it. (laughs) Yours for the asking. Hey, Cox sisters. No, but honestly, if I'm making 400,000 after all my tax and everything for lipstick and cognac, right? Okay, so and I'm used to eat, yeah. And I, if I'm used to eating all these places, and I get with somebody who's making thirty thousand dollars a okay. year, you know, I don't want to change my lifestyle because I've been well, let me grinding ever this. since. You know what I mean? I want somebody who can meet me halfway. Now, however, come if I like, I don't mind paying for you because that's what it is. What it is? I know you don't make that much. Yeah. But at some point in time, you will look, have to be like, "Bay, let me work on do something better. Let me see what I can do in order to like." Meet you halfway. This is what's wrong with that in my mind. Nothing is wrong with what you're saying. Like, I'm, I totally agree with it. You're going to want somebody who can meet you halfway. However, being all the way real, if you making that much money and they're making this much money, where y'all meeting at? The gas station? You just said you would talk to somebody who don't make them as long as they have a hustle that's not what about their self. You have yes, a, you did. That's not what I'm saying. Yes, you did. That, no, you're not well, break it down for the people you're because you're confusing me. That's what I got is, from it. My whole point is, <laughs> if you're making that much money, you're not going to be hanging around people. Most people are not going to be around well, I'm not going to change up. who I am. I'm still going to go to my little karaoke spots. I want to go bowling on Monday. I'm just going to have more money. Please believe, if you making that much money and you hustling that hard, you're going to change because you're not going to have time to be bowling. You're not going to be having time to I be... don't want to lose myself, though. You're going to lose it because let me tell you, if I'm making that much money, lipstick going to change her address. I'm going to change my car. I'm going to change my clothes. And I'm probably going to even get some new friends because I'm refused to be the richest and the smartest you know person what you got? I want to know how do y'all feel. Please comment on this topic because I don't agree with lipstick. And it's just getting really crazy to me what you just saying, well, and I don't agree. I'm, it's just being real. Let you win the lottery. <laughs> Gonna take us out. Come on. All right. Hey guys, we're taking a quick recess break. Stay tuned to rollnot.com or rollnot live via Facebook to catch us what's coming up next. Or you catch us on our IG at lipstick, lipstick and cognac. And we have a surprise guest who yes, will be we back <laughs> after these commercial break. Ow. Starting on Tuesday, you guys are going to be on rollout.com and on our Facebook page giving you all the tea you need for relationships. Here to help you out, man. Make sure y'all tune in from 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. each of the time. Want to watch your favorite, your favorite, 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 favorite talk show, Lipstick and Cognac. Here to, with that dynamic duo, you don't want to miss Lipstick, Shady O comics, and just Cognac till I can ease personality, man. It's going to be a great time. Make sure y'all tune in. Tune in on rollnot.com. That's R O L L I N G O U T dot C O M. And also on Facebook, rolling out Facebook, man. It's going to be a great time. Y'all don't want to miss this. Great laugh, great talks, realness, truth. Man, we ain't really some experts. We know what we talking about. So make sure y'all tune in. Rollnot.com, man. Lipstick and cognac. Representative Erica Thomas, and I'm excited to tell you about the Erica Thomas Show, where we break down news and politics in layman terms, where everybody can understand it. We start off the show with hip hop and politics, where we might interview your favorite celebrity, and we break down hip hop and let you know that it's the same thing as politics, baby. And also coming up after that, we have kids and politics, where we bring on your favorite kids stars, and they tell us all about how they feel about politics. And then right Right after that is the hit list, where we tell you about the fails of the week. Who failed this week in the news? And who do we need to know about? It's all happening at 6 o'clock every single Tuesday. I said 6 o'clock every single Tuesday. So you better turn tune in. You better tune in. You better not miss it. I mean, you better not miss it. The Erica Thomas Show is on live. Thank you for tuning in to RollingOut.com or Rolling Out Live via Facebook. We are Lipstick and Cognac, your host of Adult Conversation with an Alternative Twist. 
a no judgment zone where we discuss Breathe. all things relationship, no matter if you're a ruler, a rainbow, or a unicorn. Ow. Okay, so if you guys are watching us on Instagram, you probably see it already. But on Facebook and rollingout.com. You don't see us. <laughs> you don't see our special guest. Special, special guest. Aww. And we don't mean edges. like special on short bus, <laughs> even though she is funny. She got edges. She got a whole lot of edges. <laughs> and she got a booty that's growing back. <laughs> The oh lovely God. and funny, and I've been watching her Instagram, <laughs> but I've been stalking yes. for a long nice. time. B. Simone. Hi. Yes, B. Simone, <laughs> welcome to Don't the Don't be trying to act all yes. shy. Yes. I'm not. <laughs> really, I'm, I just woke up from a nap, so I'm like trying to get up right now. But thank you guys so much for having and me. she has it's a so fully nice. deep face. I'm I woke do. Up. I woke up like Girl, this. I slept on my back. I was hey. like, hey. Yes, because I, I worked out, I did my makeup, and then I like oh. lay down for like, 20 she minutes, slept pretty, y'all. So I can look cute for y'all. We appreciate look it. Look at these. These nails are topping. Show me to get us a uh, nail cam. Yeah. Not nail cam. Yes. I they love long nice. nails. I like them long and get them. Hey, ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing so, wrong with that. This so, is. the topic for today okay. is something that you probably know a lot about. What's the topic? Unfortunately. Because everybody won't come up. Because <laughs> that's what and I See, you thought I was trying to be shady. <laughs> can I cuss on here? You can. We got a 12 curse word minimum or maximum. Curse words. And we haven't used any yet. We okay. haven't used any. Yet. But please okay. save at least one for me. I will. Okay. So the topic today is dating after the fade. Social After media fame. edition. I'm so that means, though, oh, so yeah, you social media you famous. Are, if you got more, if you have more than 100K, girl. you are social media famous. No. He looked it you up. You got 1.2 million followers, girl. But you But that's popping. not famous. That's popular. That's Beyonce famous. is famous. You're we famous. I can social, still move around. Oh, social, social media, media fame. Yeah, that's oh, the, okay, yeah. okay. You're famous to me. Oh, you are. You. Girl, you hustle. Thank you. Everybody can see you got 1.2 1. 2 million followers. Hey, that's, that 1. is 1. the truth. Oh, see, correct me. Yes. <laughs> can, can we get that 300,000? <laughs> we sure we're trying. I'm trying to get to two. <laughs> no, yeah. but seriously, we, we as you can tell, we like to have fun and joke here. So. Before we get into the topic, okay. tell us for the people that may not know you because you're under a rock, mm -hmm. I know, who you right? are. I am B. Simone. I am a comedian, actress, artist, um, and I've just started to call myself the female Jamie Foxx because that is my goal in this industry now. Hey, claim I do music, okay. acting, comedy. And I met him. I was so happy I met him recently. And what's crazy is he is my cousin's best friend. Really? I did not know that. But my cousin, it's like my mom's cousin. So, it, you know, those family okay. members yeah. that you really okay. I haven't seen him since I was like five okay, or ten, okay. you know. So my cousin was like, "That's my best friend." I'm like, "What? Like that is my idol? That's in this our best industry. friend, right?" So <laughs> yeah, you know, just music, comedy, acting. I'm on my own comedy tour right now. The year my boyfriend tour, and um, the next stop is Columbus, Ohio, on the 17th. So see you there. Yes. Wait a minute. Hold up. Now you're booked and busy, but you're not famous. Exactly. I'm not famous. Girl, you're making money. Well, look, <laughs> I am. I'll oh tell my you god, what. this comedy stuff. I was I'll like, "Tell you what, give me your money." And we can switch. Well, you know what? You know, he got a lot of <laughs> negatives on his account. <laughs> so you might not know. We the negative crew over here. Like, well, you know what? Let me rethink that. <laughs> right, right. Decline. Um, excuse me, Miss Simone. Uh, this is not. Um, yeah, get the hell out. Uh, I used my one. I got my one. Yeah, but no, um, seriously. Mm. This is mm. going to be fun. This is going to be really fun. So. Okay, well, we, we'll we'll get back to you okay. on the back end, so Ooh, you can I'm let people sorry. know. Uh -huh. Child, if you see how my feet swing, <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm five ass. two. Oh, Don't so shut me that one. How tall are you? Five five. Okay, she. she <laughs> I, I prayed right. to be five right. five, y'all. I, I really like did. So right. <laughs> yes. Right. So I have a question for you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So, how is dating now? Previously, mm -hmm. you getting your 1.5 million, million followers. followers. Uh, it's kind of the same. Is I it? Think I've probably only dealt with like two or three men that I feel like really are dating me. Like male groupies, literally. It's so lame. Like nowadays, it's like men are the new groupies. 
They be they, they be bitches. They, like, they hold bitches. You for, they hold bitches. Yeah. That's what we call they it. They want to date cuss you word. for popularity or date you to. Yeah, see, it's status. a difference now. So yeah, so like, so how is that? Explain that. Mm. Like, and I've only what, dealt with it like once or twice. So at, at what point did you know they were? Instantly, groupies. instantly. Uh, yeah, God, I have a good power of discernment. Like okay. instantly, instantly. Really. Mm. So for the people who don't know, explain that. How can you spot a groupie in your DMs? I mean, maybe not in your DMs, but once you start to get around them, you'll know, like, if they want to be on your page. So you go out with them? Um, you, yeah. You go on dates? Yeah. So what do they take you? What do they try to take you? <laughs> I mean. She can't give up her slots. Man. I know. I'm, like, trying to think. <laughs> nice restaurants, you know. Okay. So <laughs> they're both trying to ask. What's like, crazy? they just try to woo you and try to take you, like, expensive yeah, places. Yeah, but I don't really date that much. Like, what's crazy is. Hold on. Like, Pause don't there. Date. Why don't you date that much? Because. I you know because you're booked and busy, right? No. <laughs> that is not why. I want to date. I want a relationship. I, I don't think I'm too busy for that. Okay. But I feel like. I digress. Like my brother, I always tell this story. K-Camp, we're, we're really close friends. He always says, like, I'm like, bro, what do you think it is? Like, I have been single for seven years. Guys will date me, but they will not commit. They will not wife me. So I'm like, what is it? He's like, you're too goofy. Like, I would never take you serious. I would never want my girl to be as goofy as you. You play too much. You know what? And uh, hold on. So he's like, he's like, you're no. so handsome. And, I'm, you're handsome. He's like, you're so beautiful. But he was like, your personality is just like overbearing. Let me tell you, because that is the one thing I do give my husband credit for. Because it takes it takes a special person. It does. I'm, she's not, very I'm goofy. nowhere it like does. you because I'm I just don't make videos. <laughs> but I am the corniest, goofiest Corny, goofy, person fun, that you will. Free spirit, childish, yes. Like, but I mean, I'm not gonna change that. If, no, it'll find me, you know no, what I'm that's saying? you, and you got your edges. I do. Show the people I got your my edges. edges back. Yes, like, uh, pretty <laughs> I got my edges back. She don't kill me. She's like, call me. I was like, I'm in the interview. <laughs> wow. So w- you you really don't know what it is? I guess it's that. Like literally, top of the line celebrities will be in my DM, but it's never trying to holla. Who? I'm not saying. <laughs> you always try to never, get they, But that's the thing. I could even say it because it's not. they never try to holler at me. They Got just you. compliment me like, oh, you so funny, sis. I'm like, nigga. Sis. <laughs> I'm trying to fuck. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm, I'm not your sister. What the fuck? You know, they mess it up with the sis. You fine. Yeah. <laughs> we like at three right now. You at two. Because you know what? Jay is counting. He already counted my one. Oh, shoot. But mm-hmm. yeah, they just like, you so funny. And I'm like, whatever. Go like, <laughs> I'm just the cool homie with everybody. But that sucks when you just always the homie. Oh, always. you say you that homie zone. Yeah. But you are beautiful. They friend- you know, I mean, I don't, don't have home. sex with me. I didn't say I was ugly. Okay, I said yeah. I was the homie. <laughs> like, they won't, like. They'll put you in there like, oh, you like a uh, like a cousin yeah, sister type thing. I guess. I don't know. She's the wing. Are you the wingman? Do they try to put you as the wingman? Like to bring girls and yeah. stuff? Yes. No, they don't. I, yeah. I like, you know, bring the. For real? Mm-hmm. I'm like, yeah, I don't, her. don't. Okay, let's move on because we don't want to make her <laughs> have a complex. <laughs> like, yeah. So, but, but do you notice a difference in how you date? Yeah, you I like what you, you look for now that you have? Yeah. What are this your following? standards? Because that's like, what you, know you walked in on. Is they've probably gotten lower? Oh my God! No. Wow. No. no sir. <laughs> now, I'm not going to say low standards, but I would pretty much date anybody. The last guy I talked to, first of all, I'm talking to a guy right now that works at Steve Madden. He has a regular nine to five. The last guy mm. I talked to just got out of prison. He hasn't had a job in oh, nine no. months. Oh, no. Okay, no like, prison refunds. But I bet that, that's some real good, strong <laughs> back loving right there. <laughs> That prison. He I been mean, he how long? He, he been in jail. Got a job. He was in jail for ten you years. You know what? I don't trust men who go to jail. Why? He, you, uh, jail. I believe in. You okay, know, let no, her no, know. No, 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 let way. her know. No, 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 no. Just serious. in case you, you don't know anything men about. Are very sexual. And this is Kanye. This is not their thing. This is just me. This is from the rainbow you think portion of the show. Any time a man goes to jail, he I say this: a man is oh. too sexual. Let's just keep it out there. We think about sex all, all the, time. the time. Imagine if you, you know, gay is times 10. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So if I'm in jail for more than, I think for more than six months, <laughs> I give you six months. So e- even if you go one day, you're going to be happy. Six right. Who? You. you the hell, well, I'm mean, not about being no. in jail, but you no. like, it's shower time. <laughs> <laughs> no. That's going to be you. I like to be free. <laughs> <laughs> No, but I really feel like which one of y'all is first? Right. I feel like you're doing something. You're so, they're giving you head. Something you're doing. So, and 
for ten years, I don't I don't care who you are. Yeah. What no, I don't you 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 know it's it's a different culture. I was in celibate there. for almost two years. Women are different from men, sweetie. Yeah. I yeah. might be gay, but I'm still a man. <laughs> <laughs> like, right, right, I, right. I don't know any man. Me personally, if I was that can a hold female, out that long. I would be looking like anything that's a subscriber, I'd be like, mm -hmm. he been in over too long. <laughs> I don't know. No, don't put that image in my head. <laughs> Ten years is a long time, but I ain't got no comment on that one. Yeah. No comment know. over here. It's a long time. Mm-mm. Moving along. With the boys. What other standards you got? <laughs> um, I'm just, I don't know. Uh, dating is such a hard topic for me. I'm still learning myself. I'm still learning what I like and yeah, trying to figure it out. Like what I really want. I still think I want to get married. I okay, want a well lot of kids. Okay, let me ask you, you know. this. Yeah, because mm -hmm. you got to ask me this. Are you <laughs> in the 20 to 30 age range or the 30 to 40? Like of who I would date? No, no, no. You. Which one would you classify yourself as? Like age-wise. Like, of who I would date. No, what age? Who, you. Like, you. How old am I? Yeah. I'm 28. Okay. I'm well, 27. Don't play, I don't say my age. Oh, I so. don't care. I'm 28 years old. So, so, okay. One of our shows we did, I said that for women, I can't speak for men. Uh -huh. For women, our 20s is about defining ourselves as women. So, we have to find, like, what we want as a woman in order for us to date effectively. And in your 30s, by the time you're in your 30s, you kind of know, like, okay, this is me as a woman. And this type of guy, even though I may be attracted to him, yeah. it's is not it right going to work. Me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so what you're saying kind of plays right back into that. Yeah. Like, so you do don't you really know. You? I mean, I'm attracted to what I'm around. So when I was doing music really, really heavy, I was attracted to a lot of artists, a lot of rappers, a lot of musicians, because I was around it. It was a vibe. Yeah. It was artists. I'm attracted to a lot of comedians now. That's what I'm around. It's what I'm into. It's like we have a connection because we're both doing the same thing. So I feel like... I like industry guys. You know what I'm saying? Gotcha. But that's what I'm around. Gotcha. But it's not only, I don't only date industry guys. I would date a regular guy. Okay, you would. Yes. Would you date a guy right now? If you were making, move back. If you was making half a million dollars and that regular guy was making 30000 would you date him? A year? Yes. Not if that was his only goal because if I fell short, he wouldn't be able to financially keep us afloat. But what gotcha. if I thought he expired a beat though? What if he was a $30,000 a year but he was an artist? And so like he hadn't got put on. No, no, like, like a that. like a, a comedian or actor, but yeah. he hadn't got on yet. Like so he was grinding. Oh, for him. sure. I would be able to help him. But that's the, how I feel. I said the same thing. I would too. be able to help him. So she's not going to break this tie. Uh -uh. If I really loved him, that's irrelevant. But what's crazy is, I, first of all, I have more money in my account than I drive. I still drive a Toyota Yaris, and those have cops fall off every day. Yes, that's like, what I'm talking about. I, okay. I don't value material things and money. I get the money and stuff excites me because I can give it to my family and to yeah. people that value that. Yeah. Like, okay, I get what you're saying. My family, so what you my family loves that shit. So guess what? Now I can take care of my grandmother and take give my sister diamonds and I don't care about that. It's the convenience like, this necklace is factor. Fake. These rings are fake. These hoops were 99 cents. I, I've never Girl, had, you better preach. I, but but there's you nothing wrong preach. with that. Yeah. Yeah. There is nothing. One day when I'm there, of course I might buy a real necklace. But right now where yeah. I'm at, I have the most money I've ever had in my life in my possession right now. I'm trying to invest. I'm not yep. worried about that. You know what I'm saying? Fellas, like, y'all better get it while y'all so, can. Well, you better get me for my mind change. You know what I'm saying? So she's like, excuse me, I have can. invested and in, um, yeah, you too broke. Yeah, <laughs> that stuff really doesn't move me, though. Yeah. It really doesn't. Well, that's how I feel. I don't, I'm humble. I'm not into yeah. clothes and fashion. He really is it. Yeah. 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 $800 on I'm clothes. I'm fickle. I'm fickle, if that's what you want to say. Yeah. yeah. But as far as dating-wise now, if I'm making 500000 a year plus, I don't see myself dating somebody who's making less than seventy thousand. Uh -huh. Purpose is because if I want to do so, I want to feel like 70. you are just you just can't do. I want to yes. feel like you like yes. you're not good enough. Yeah. Even though I like you, he might beg in mind be like, "Dang, I can't afford this stuff." Yeah, yeah. If yeah. I want to go to Paris, I can because I got to do it. He can't do yeah, that. You know yeah. what I mean? But you can pay for him to go if you making that I much money. I don't want to pay all the time, sir. Yeah. But if it's that, <laughs> if, if, this is the one thing. If if you are going to be what's called the breadwinner, because now you are the one that's making the most yeah. money. You can't. I mean, what you expect? They going. You're going to be the one footing the bill on stuff. That's why I said he's yeah. cheap. Seventy thousand. I just want more. you to know yeah. he's cheap. But that's what I'm saying. You said when I date somebody that's making thirty thousand. Oh, that's fine if we have bigger goals. Correct. Yeah. You can't have that thirty thousand mindset. This is good enough, and you're dating a millionaire. But if you're making four hundred thousand dollars a year, okay, and you're complaining about a ticket to Paris, 
for somebody that's making 70, why are you with them? No, I will pay. What I'm saying, I don't, I'm not going to be paying all the time. Why? It's just money. No. Why if you can afford it? Yeah, like no. if you can afford it. I can see if they're talking about I want a Maserati. Now, I'll with you. Before I got famous, I guess anything I have is yours. <laughs> right. Yeah, oh, before Lord. the fame. But after the fame, you feel like they're using you. Yeah. No, no, no. But I'm very, that's why when I I'm meet guys, if they ask me, what's your social media? I don't have one. Hi. Wow. So what you going to do when they see that? I got my edges back. Nope. I do not give them They're going to be like, you're going to be like, that's not me? Yep. <laughs> I don't know who she like is. Old. Wow, 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 wow. Oh, Jesus. Mm. Oh, she going to put some knowledge in my head. I'm not saying it's not important. I'm not about to go under a bridge and date a bum and be like, oh, I'll date you because you're a good person. No. Yeah. But gotcha. it, it, I, that's not a main thing. Gotcha. Okay, guys. Well, hey, guys, we're taking the Chris Reset break. Yes. We're Stay tuned go to RollNot.com or RollNot Live via Facebook to catch up what's coming up next. We had a beautiful B. Simone in the house. We'll be back. Ow. <laughs> Your favorite entertainment source has expanded. Rolling out the nation's best source for entertainment and lifestyle information now has a lineup of web-based shows and podcasts on its newest platform, Rolling Out Live, every Tuesday from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. For all things related to the spirit industry with 100 Proof Radio Show to cuisine with La Kitchen and inspiration and relationships with dunamis women and lipstick and cognac. Rolling Out Live is your weekly digital destination. So tune in every Tuesday on RollingOut.com and Rolling Out on Facebook. Don't miss it. This your man, Rashad Richard. Let's keep it 100. We are suffering, suffering from high blood pressure and diabetes at an alarming rate. Did you know that studies show by cleaning the blood, you can improve your circulation and help lower your blood pressure and improve your overall numbers? A company called Alloman has a product known as Gap. Yep, Gap Pills. I've been using them for years, and they have done me wonders as a broadcaster. They've been on the market for 41 years. It's a unique combination of garlic, aloe, and parsley designed to cleanse, regulate, and replenish the blood. It normally sells for $49.95 for a one-month supply, but if you order now using the code word HEALTH, H-E-A-L-T-H, you get 15% off. So I need you right now, if you care about your health, go to alohills.com, A-L-O-E-H-E-A-L-S.com, or call them at 1-800-383-1165. That's 1-800-383-1165. Or drop by 3030 Camerton Road in Atlanta and tell them the realest man sent you. Thank you for tuning in to RollingOut.com and Rolling Out Live via Facebook, as well as Lipstick and Cognac on Instagram. Yes. We are Lipstick and Cognac. What's up? Your host of Adult Conversation with an alternative twist. Yes. Ain't no judgment zone. <laughs> where? What did you say? Mm -hmm. Twister. Oh, my gosh. Ain't <laughs> no judgment zone where we discuss all things relationships, no matter if you are a ruler, a rainbow, or a unicorn. unicorn. Hey. <laughs> we are here with the funny and lovely and, and the beautiful. only person that can talk sense into cognac. Beautiful. The gorgeous B. Simone. Okay, so you said something when we were on recess mm -hmm. that yes. we wanted you to share for everybody out there about, about the women. people that, women that oh, date for money. yes. I was saying that. I know a lot of women whose main focus was to date a guy that had money. You know what I'm saying? And they dating athletes, rap. I know these women personally. I have a few friends, you know, mm -hmm. associates, and they are miserable. When I say miserable, they're getting cheated on every day. They are unhappy. They're getting treated like SHIT. And they have, they without that man, they have nothing. Yep. Like, if that man was to leave them today, they would have to move back into their mother's house. And that man knows it. If that man and they knows takes they advantage of it. Are they taking money and investing? Of course they're not. Oh, girl. They're comfortable. And even if they do do that, 
you know, sometimes they put it in his name or he opens mm-hmm. the business and they're not. So if they do break up, he could take it back right yeah, back. I'm talking about like a little nasty phase where they take a little money and put you it here and there. You're that they're giving them money, though. Because a lot of men that's like that, they don't give you the actual money. They're not dumb. They're going to oh, buy yeah, you the like, object. That. Yeah. They're going to buy you the car. Or they're give you buy a you card the and they'll see. They can see the statements and see, you know, I don't know. I don't know how that works. But I'm just saying that money cannot be your main Yes. Focus. Focus for happiness. It's not mm-hmm. real. It's a facade. Yeah. It's not real. Like, it's just not. I know rich people who, look at Robin Williams, Kate Spade. Look at yep. these people. Yep. These people are committing suicide at, not, and they're not in their 20s. They done their 40s, 50s, yeah. 60s. They still are miserable. That old. I don't want to be like that. And no, I don't want that, that it's not even the life. ones that are committing suicide. You got to think about the ones that are addicted to drugs and drugs. stuff. Drugs. Like, that's Overdosing. a slow death. Yeah. R.I.P. to Mac Miller. You yes. know what I'm saying? Not yes. saying yes. he was depressed. I don't know what he was going through. Sometimes, you know, I drink. I'm not depressed. I just like to drink and have fun. But when you overuse it, it's like what you have to internally. I'm sure he was financially fine. Mm-hmm. But, you, you know, that and doesn't that make you happy. Point. It doesn't yeah. make you happy. That so that's not the main thing I'm looking for. Yes, it's important. Because mm-hmm. if something happens to my account or I go bankrupt or, you know, I go through a financial situation, my man does have to be able to help and, and back provide. and provide. He has yeah. to be able to be a man. But, you know, that's not the main thing. What's your bank account look like? No. Like, so, gotcha. so basically you're you're saying you are okay with being the breadwinner if you have to be. Yes. It, initially, I will. But if I'm the breadwinner initially, that man... Is going. I'm going to be able to help him. See, what do you want to do? Do you, you want to put him what, into what, position? Yes, to do so, okay. I will put him in a position to maybe he can make more money than me. Girl, why and that you, was the. Ain't trying to come at you with no. all this knowledge you Timing. see. Timing. God has a plan. This is her ad. Guys. Right, right. <laughs> I'm just. That this was, is how I, where I what, am now in life. That falls I don't back know. into what we you walked in on because that was my whole thing. Like it's all about your hustle. Like if you got a hustle and you got a grind yes. and you can come out with a plan. And right now the only thing missing from your plan is lack of funds. Yes. Okay. Let's if do your it. Plan flushes out. Let's roll. Now, with would it. I have to be married before you can invest in it? No. Not necessarily. Really? No. Oh, we have to be married. Not or necessarily. No. It depends. I don't trust. You know people. People Did really I tell you he was stingy? Sneaky. I am very that's, stingy. That, you know what? That's not. I'm not saying be naive, be green, be dumb, but that's not for you to. That's just, it's just like you saying take I love. can't give a homeless person that I don't know if they're gonna spend on drugs. That's not for you to decide. But look, you do yeah. your stuff. You do. You show love. You spread love. You spread joy. You spread mm-hmm. peace. You help people, and whatever they do on the other end is that's on them. You do you, what you think is right. And this is the thing that I l- look at it like this. How many people out there will have unprotected sex? Right. But you won't give somebody access to your account. That's like, crazy. Like, that's your life. That's crazy. You know, girl, that's think crazy. About it. Think about it's it. It's crazy. People oh, were playing Jesus. babies with people. <laughs> yeah. That's a whole nother life. But you won't let nobody, like, get... A hundred dollars because you think they might be getting over on you? Yeah. yeah. I feel like I'm just gone. No. <laughs> like, not you. No, you just, no, you just like, have to think. You, I, I would have unprotected sex with someone who I don't really want to see anything with. Correct. I won't invest in their dream and give them money. Somebody they, who you they do they want. my whole life. Yeah. Yes. yes. Yeah. You girl. know? <laughs> girl. You need a hug. <laughs> I don't. He's like, I don't. He's like, I don't. Don't touch Let's me, bitch. this letter. Okay, so we have, this it. is the part of the show where we read a letter. <laughs> it's a relationship letter. You guys, we want your, uh, both of you guys. It's from out. a um, listener? Random person, okay. yeah. yeah. They're anonymous. It says, um, relationship letter. I did type this up, by the way, so it's because it was real jacked up. Anyway, yeah. all my friends have come to me for years for fitness advice and tips on eating right. After helping all of them for years, they were paying me. I opened up my own personal training business online. I post my clients, their results, and my pics to promote my business. Mm -hmm. Now, insert boyfriend. Keep in mind, this is a boyfriend. Okay, anyway. He has a big problem with me posting half-naked pics for likes. Mind you, I'm always in gym clothes, and I don't have my butt or boobies out. Um, I am curvy, but I try to be respectful of myself at all times. Plus, most of my pics are of my clients. He's a good dude, and we are talking marriage, but he keeps hounding me about my pics. It's so bad, he wants me to stop posting myself or delete my Instagram account. Mm. This is ridiculous, and ha- he has no reason to be this insecure. What should I do? Um, I'll go ahead. You go first. I'm going to say it might not it, – um, it's not always the insecurity because some men don't want their wife to be – out there like that on a social yeah. media platform. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So I do understand his side. But if he knew that's what you were doing, that is your occupation before. That's like saying, 
oh, well, Amber Rose, you have to stop doing the slut walk. No, yeah, no. Right. Like, this is what I was doing before, representing sluts, representing hoes. This is what I was doing before we met. So don't try to change that now. If he knew that's what you were doing before y'all got into a committed relationship, he should have understood that. You know what I'm saying? So I see both sides. Like, no me, man is going to want his wife, you know, showing stuff on the internet. Let me go last. You go next. Okay, so in a prior relationship, I was with someone who did not really like for me to wear a bathing suit without a Mm cover-up. And I ended up doing, like, fitness competitions where you're in a little bitty, teeny, tiny bathing suit in front of everybody strutting across the stage. And the one thing that he said was, I'm glad that you found your way, but that would have never flew with me. Like, I would not have had a problem with that. So sometimes what drives you, is not going to help you in your relationship. Yeah. I don't care how much. Yeah. Now, the problem is she is a fitness. It's her job. A trainer. Yeah. So I'm quite sure they can find some type of middle ground, maybe, because you don't really have to show them but some abs and arms and legs. Yeah. But that's going to be a hard one. Like, I would say that's something you might need to reconsider because that's that's showing a lot of oh, other really nice. guys. Like, yeah. that's basically telling you that he's insecure and it ain't going to get no better. People show you they best self before you get married. If you're going to get married him, you you might want to run. Yeah. Like, for real. Cause, well, is it my turn? Yeah, go ahead, because you biting. Is it, is it my turn? It's your yeah. turn. Go call Okay, your honestly speaking, be honest. He already knew what she was about before he got with her. Okay. <laughs> Clearly, mm-hmm. he was on her IG and all this stuff. Right. He had to know. So, my question to her would be, why would somebody stop your money? Yeah. Point yeah. blank, period. This yeah. is your money. This is how you make your living. If he can't get with it, bye. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I mean, I don't see nothing else to say about that because they're they like, if he loves you, he respects you, and he know. Now, if he asks you to tone down a little bit, I don't mind that. Yeah. Like, I would tone it down just to be respectful. Yeah. And I was close to my clients. But if this is how I'm making my money, baby, yeah. and this is how we eat and go on our trips and do what we're doing, what's the issue? Yeah. I'm, home, I'm, coming home, I'm coming home to you every day. Yeah. Okay, let's play a devil's advocate. What if he's the one footing the bill for everything? Even though she may be coming home with money, but he's paying for it. So if they miss her money, then it's really not affecting the household like that. Mm. Would you still say the same thing? Yes. This okay. is my business. This is why I like This is business. my coin, boyfriend. Yeah. Like you should never want this if this is what you're passionate about. Why would you stop them from doing that if you knew who I was yep. when you met me? Now yeah. if I switched up on you once I got with you, then that's a conversation. Yeah, yeah, had. yeah. But no, this is my coin. I, I feel like this. You training. It's not like you said not. It, if if she had said a com- competition model, that that's a little extreme because I know those those suits can get little real quick. Yeah. But if you're a trainer, what bad can you be posting? I'm, I mean, some trainers out there. I mean, she posted a song <laughs> or something. That's right. Like, some trainers cool. will. Yeah. Some squats, no shot. Yeah. <laughs> like I'm like no boo. <laughs> we didn't need the thong. Right, to see that. right, right. But I don't know. Kanye said you probably should have sent a picture of your boyfriend before he um <laughs> made his decision. Oh, no, let's go. <laughs> don't know what's coming for my money. Exactly. I don't care who you are. Yeah. This is my money. If somebody say I want you to stop listening to Kanye, no. You got to go. If I call you say, oh, so and so said I gotta stop filming our show, what would you do? Let me Right. <laughs> I have done that. Yeah, you have. Ooh. Honey. She I had. was like, do I need to put my hand upon it and go get some Vaseline? Um, <laughs> she is not about to affect my movement. Right. Not nay and day, just in case you're looking. Not nay and day. So y'all basically both say the same thing. We all kind of say the same thing. Yeah. Though, because that's your money. Yeah. Nah, you just said a flat out no. You would just be like, no. Yeah, you just said a flat out no. No. So you basically saying if a dude come to you and say, hey, I want you to stop. Being funny, stop on right. the video. Right, no. You look crazy. Look at him crazy. That's just like asking her not to be goofy. Like, that's a yeah. part of her. Yeah, And I can say this because I'm goofy. So, yeah. you know, I'm not trying to dig. So you married? I am married. Okay. It's and my for you. She got married in her 30s. Oh. Yeah, I How did. How long have you been married? We've only been married for two years. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. You have to tell everybody that, though. I'm going to need you to stop telling my age. I'm 29 and holding, remember? <laughs> and holding. My co-host is Girl, beautiful. You better. You better. <laughs> when I get Age. Show them your ring, boo. No, we're not, they want. <laughs> they want we're not about to do that today. We're not about to do that today. But my husband is very serious, like super serious. And he never laughs at my jokes. And it was the <laughs> reason why, like, I was hesitant in doing this because he's, like, not supportive. I've even messed with him before and said, I'm going to do a stand-up one day, um, open mic. Do you know he got anxiety? Like, he was like, are you for real? 
please tell me you not you ain't that funny. What? But you ain't that funny though. Like, like I'm like, dude, really? You know, when I call tell me what you really feel. Day, he's playing the game. He plays some game that he loves. All For my husband? Your husband. PUBG. And Shout out she's to PUBG. just sitting there bound. I'm just like, is this the cutest thing? And I can just imagine him sitting there. Aww. And he is doing his thing. Like, they got a very beautiful relationship. Yeah, yeah he kids. lets me be me. No kids. No kids yet. We working, though. I want them to have them. It's too late. That's so dope. <laughs> we having fun busy. working, though. <laughs> <laughs> my right. ex is, my hair been growing real thick. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it works because he lets me be me and I let him be him. Okay. But he has. It took a minute for him to accept. I ain't going to say it took a minute for him. But it took me a minute to find somebody who really accepts all of that. Because I can be really corny and really goofy. And it gets... Yeah. It's a lot for somebody who want that down at... Yeah, You know, yeah, like, yeah. they want some... Chill. Yeah. And I'm like... So what yeah. advice would you want to give her? Just say, like, if you was talking to your best friend, what would you tell her to do? The girl? Yeah. <sighs> If he can't get with it, you gotta go. Yeah, because you cannot. That's your business. That's your work. You know, and that's that's your money. And you a boyfriend. And then if you stop and things don't work out, you're gonna be so mad you did not focus on that business. Exactly. There you go. I was for you to say that. Exactly. You know. So what would be the advice that you would give yourself then? For what dating? I don't know. I don't know. Just keep trying. I I'm that's I think why I don't think I lowered my standards, but that's why I'm like. I will date anybody. I will go well, out with anybody. According to Kanye, you you might have lowered it in one area. Like you might want to wait, <laughs> wait until that new, you know. Mm. <laughs> mm. But, but yeah, I know you probably. I'm pretty open. <laughs> yes. Get away! Get away! Did he come out with some tail? No, let me shut up. Oh but no. Gosh. So, what kind of guys would you date, though? Oh. Yeah. Uh. What would be your ideal guy? Being that you have all of this other stuff well, going that's on, watching that might I guess somebody slide to like DMs. I guess somebody that I won't, don't want to say in my industry, but around like he could be a manager, he could be a PR, he could be behind the scenes, but somebody that understands my world okay. and would like to be a part of it, traveling all the time, late nights, early mornings, um, family oriented, you know, successful in whatever he's doing. He could be the manager at. Steve Madden, but you're the manager. Gotcha. Like, you're trying to work your way up. You're trying to, you know what I'm saying? So successful at wherever you are in life or, you know, stuff yeah. like that. For my little boo, you know, I ain't going to put him out there like that, but he's regular, has a yeah. good, you know, working a good job. But thing is, I trust him. I knew him before yeah. I started this. Yeah. I like him, saying. too. Aww. I so, really like him. That's why we're good. Yeah. Now, I don't want anything to happen to us, bae. Just putting it out there. <laughs> you know, we good. You know, we real good. But if something was to happen, I'll be very cautious as to yeah. who I will talk to yeah. moving forward. Yeah. And I think it helps for me to find somebody who's totally opposite. Like, my personality is so big. I guess I just can't see myself dating a comedian or a rapper or something that's, like... Out there. Yeah, that's a big... They would have to be the most laid back. Yeah. Because I'm... I don't want to be competing with you and we both telling jokes and we yeah. both trying to be the life of the party. Like, no, sit exactly. your butt in the corner and be quiet and cute. Yeah. Boy, yeah. what are you doing? <laughs> That's why I got mine. He's like, okay, babe, let's, you shut up too. Mine's, right. right. <laughs> mine's so laid back. He is. That's why I like him. He reminds like, me of my husband. He is so Aww. laid back. We're so opposite and I love that because I'm the fun, like, do things spontaneous. He's like, like, the logical. Yeah. Think about yeah. This. yeah. And I think opposites attract. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yes. <laughs> So where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Hey, guys, we want to take a quick recess break. Stay tuned to RollingOut.com and Rolling Out Live via Facebook to catch what, what's coming up next. We'll be back, you guys. Ow. Got I just want to answer what y'all ask me. You got great. DJ DiBiase. Chef Chris. Porcelain Gold. God blessing me often. I'm still looking in the apartment. Right. I know they keep in my deposit. I got burn holes in the carpet. All I know is old. All I know is both. All I know is.
Man Rashad Richard, the realest man on radio, the realest man on TV, the realest man on print, and the realest man in the classroom. Welcome to Sucker Free. This is conservative Republican Mitchell Shelby. I don't care if you ask me my opinion. You're going to get it anyway. And that is what you do. And that's what I do. This is your girl, Nicole. I'll be sitting in with these two. And we're going to have great conversation on Tuesdays at 2.30 on rolling out Sucker Free with Rashad Ritchie. Great conversation. Don't become the sucker of the week. Do not become the sucker of the week. Can't wait to talk to you on Tuesday. Be there. Lipstick Let's and Cognac go. Show. Today, our guest host has been the beautiful B. Simone. Beautiful. Tell I us what her. you got going on, boo. Yes, I am on the year, my boyfriend comedy tour right now. Oh, We've wow. already done like 10 cities. We have like 10 left. The next show is Columbus, Ohio on the 17th, then Dayton the 18th, Cincinnati the 19th, Baltimore the 20th. Go to my page for the rest of the dates, but the link is in my bio. This is my first tour, and every single city has sold out so far. Yeah. Every you been blessed. It yes. to be. God is so good. He's so good. So tour and my beauty line, my cosmetic line is dropping so soon. I'm so excited about it. Beauty by B. Simone. Um, go to Beauty by B. Simone on Instagram and check that out. Follow that page. And yeah, I'm just on tour. Wild and Out comes back to Atlanta October 25th okay. through November 13th. So y'all gotta come to the show live. Are yes. you on there? Yes. This is yes, my fourth season. There. Yeah. Okay. Fourth season of Wild and Out. So please watch. It's airing right now. Season. 12 is airing right now, so make sure you watch it every Friday and Thursday on MTV. I will be on your TV if you can't catch me on tour. Got it. So, hold on. One more thing. Where can people find the tickets for your... Um, where do they go to get the tickets? Yes, it's on my Instagram. So, my Instagram is Simone 2 and just click the link in my bio. It's tour dates right there. Gotcha. Okay, so the dates and the actual tickets are in through yep. your uh -huh. link. The Got it. Okay. and the tour, uh, the tickets are right there. Got it. Mm -hmm. Y'all, um, plug your girl for the lipstick part. Yes, her, I can't um, wait. Yeah, I'll send a package of I will definitely. Yeah, I got you. I'll be like this. Only for me, Simone. <laughs> uh, I, I, got a, I got a clear one coming, so it's going to be like, okay, you good. can do that. Yeah, he would definitely. Wear wear that. When we do our I photo shoots, he, as soon as we leave for yeah, just the shoot, so I don't I like that. He's trying to take it off in you, the car. You don't, you don't need it. Thank, no, thank he's you. red on camera. He needs it. Thank you. But thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for joining thank you guys. us. Today, we would love to have you back anytime that of you course. want to. All right, yes. Cognac, um, let us know where they can find us. Let the people know where we are. Well, you can find us on Facebook and IG at Lipstick and Cognac. That's L-I-P-S-T-I-C-K-A-N-D-C-O-G-N-A-C. On Twitter, it's Lipstick <laughs> underscore Cognac. That's L-I-P-S-T-I-C-K underscore. Do I have to spell that? No. C-O-G-N-A-C. <laughs> and on YouTube, it's Lipstick and Cognac page. page. And yes. if you guys missed this topic, don't worry about it. You can tune in next week from 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. on rollout.com or rollout Facebook or our IG at Lipstick and Kanye. So make sure you like, share, comment this page, this live. We'll also be reposting it. So you guys, if you didn't miss it, you'll get to watch it. And you don't have to wait a whole week, remember? You don't. Okay. Any last words? Any rolling out ro words? Words to roll out with. Yeah. Okay, I don't think that would be a word. Okay, uh-uh. Be wisdom. some on first. Okay, yeah, you go. Because you talk long. Um, oh, just living your purpose, faith over fear, and that's it. Oh, that was so cute. Mm -hmm. I go last. You always want to go last. I, <laughs> I would just say, be you, be true, have faith, trust God. I just made that up on the fly. You can tell, too, because that was wet. But anyway, <laughs> go ahead. So cute. Okay, well. I would say this. I always say true to what you want to do. Okay, he gonna be Every no don't mean it's not going to happen. Yes. Every door that closed don't mean it's not going to open. Trust me, we all up here know. Um, always make sure who is in your circle, they're good people. Yes. Always make sure you don't forget the ones that always supported you. Yes. And don't get too big that you forget the ones that been there. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I always put God first. God is good. 
And if you still have your Toyota Yaris, don't be mad. Don't be trying to get no upgrade because <laughs> you, you got to look coin. Yes, I love I'm that. I'm not when, saying when don't upgrade, but do it on your that. own time. That's right. Paid for means you ain't got no bill. That's more money in your pocket. <laughs> Thank you guys mm. for joining us. Thank this you. is Lipstick and Cognac. We are out. Ow. Bye, people.